Welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to send mass email using Microsoft Access Database, using Outlook to send the emails, and using Microsoft Word to merge the two, to take your access data, write a document in Word, and then send that out by email to a bunch of people. Here I am in Microsoft Access. I've got a real simple customer table. First name, last name, email address is the important thing, and whatever other fields you want to have in here. I want to send my customers a late notice with their current balance, and I want to send this by email. So I'm going to click on External Data, and then Word Merge. If you have an existing Word document that you want to use, pick the first option. I don't, so I'm going to create a new document. I'll hit OK. Microsoft Word now fires up, and I'm in the Mail Merge Wizard. It says, what kind of document are you working on? I'll pick Email Messages. I cover Mail Merge in depth in my Microsoft Word classes. I cover letters and envelopes and labels and all kinds of good stuff. But today we're going to focus on Email Messages. Next, the starting document. We're going to use the current document, which is currently blank. Next, select Recipients. Use an existing list. You can pick from your Outlook contacts, or you can type in a list. Well, we already have an existing list. It was sent over from Microsoft Access when we clicked on the Word Merge button in Access. If you want to edit that list of people, just click on Edit Recipient List, and the list pops up right here. You can turn people on and off with these little checkboxes here, but I'm going to send it to everybody. Of course, you can limit that list in Access by simply making a query first and sending that query to Microsoft Word instead of using the whole table. Next, write your email message. At this point, I can come over here and actually write the email message. Dear, then I want to put the recipient's first name. So I'll come up top and click Insert Merge Field, and then pick First Name. And notice the First Name Merge Code goes in there. Dear First Name, comma, Enter. This is to let you know that you are past due, and then the amount. So insert merge field, current balance, period. Please pay promptly. Sincerely, Richard. And you can add formatting if you want to in here. You can select text, you can bold it, you can change the color. You can increase the font size. You can insert pictures and clip art and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to keep it simple for right now. That's good enough for right now. I'm going to come back over to the right and go preview your email messages. Now, on this step, you'll see the actual data inserted in here. Right, Dear instructor, this will let you know that you're past due. Now, I forgot to put a little dollar sign in there, so I'll click right there and put a dollar sign because the data is coming through as raw numbers. That's okay. If you want to cycle between the different recipients, you can simply click on these little buttons here. All right, there's student, there's instructor, there's Richard. When you're happy with the way that it looks, click on complete the merge, and then click on electronic mail. The merge to email dialog box pops up. Tell Word which one of these fields contains the email address. Well, it already did. There's email address. The subject line, your current statement balance. This is the same, unfortunately, for everyone. You cannot customize the subject line. That is one of the limitations of picking this method. In my full access email seminar, I will show you some other techniques that will allow you to customize all the fields, including the subject line, the from address, add a BCC and a CC, and all kinds of good stuff. But this method only allows one static subject line. Pick the mail format. HTML is what you have to pick if you want to see all the formatting in here. You can switch it to plain text, or you can set it as an attachment, which means this document will actually get sent in the email as an attachment that the user has to open up. I recommend sticking with HTML. Send to all records, and then hit OK. Word will now go through and send one copy of this to each recipient. If you flip over to Outlook, here's Outlook. Now, there are some drawbacks to this method. I don't recommend this for very large email batches. If you go over a couple of hundred, it takes a long time for these to send out because each entry becomes an item in your outbox. 
and that may time out some SMTP servers. And if you're using a free email service like Gmail or Yahoo, they may actually lock your account if you send too many emails, so be careful of that. Also, you can't add attachments to your emails if you want to attach other files. You can't personalize the subject line. You can't add other things like a CC or a BCC. And any images that you send are embedded in the email itself. The better technique is to put the images on a web server and load those in with a, an image link. But if you put a really, really big image inside your email, it can take a while to upload and download on the other end. However, this is a very easy way to send a batch of email to a small group, a few hundred, maybe a thousand, depending on the speed of your computer and your internet connection. You can send formatted, colorful emails with images, links, table formatting, all kinds of good stuff. And you don't get that nasty security warning with each email if you try to send it by some other methods. Now, this is just scratching the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more that you can do with email and access, and I show you tons of different techniques and tricks and tips in my full access email seminar. So head over to my website right now, accesslearningzone.com, and look for the access email seminar if you want to learn more about how to customize your email with Microsoft Access. I will even teach you a technique for making your own mail server, and so that you can send email without using Outlook. You can send direct to whatever mail provider you use, like Gmail. And that's all covered in my email seminar. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so make sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I've got tons of free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos on my website, plus lessons for other subjects like Excel, Word, Outlook, Visual Basic, Windows, lots more. And don't forget to click to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, for even more free videos, my access message forums, and lots more. Hope to see you soon.